I want you to write this down and differentiate it. Find dy by dx. So go ahead. Pause the video and do it. Alright, good. So you have paused the video and you worked it out. Let's look at it together. dy by dx. What you have here is a function of a function. There's a composite function here. Function within another function. So what we have to do here now is use the chain rule. All right? What's the inside function? We can see that what we have is 15 divided by the q root of x squared plus 8x minus 1 r squared. All right? So we can consider u to be this function. So u is equal to x squared plus 8x minus 1. Now, what is y in terms of u? Well, y is equal to 15 divided by the q root of u squared. You see that? Now you have to remember your indices. This is equal to 15 divided by is going to be u to the 2 third. Alright? u raised to the power of 2 divided by 3. 15 over this. This is the same as 15 times u to the negative 2 third from your indices. So what we have is 15 u. So y is equal to 15 u to the negative 2 third. Alright? Write back that part again to the negative 2 third. Let's partition the board and continue working on this side. Now, that's y. We know that dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. So, dy by dx is equal to dy by du. Differentiate this. What we have for dy by du, when we differentiate this, we have negative 2 third times 15 u to the negative 2 third minus 1. Alright? u to the negative 2 third minus 1. Then times du by dx. du by dx is 2 times x. This is 2x plus 8 times 8x. When you differentiate it, you get 8. So it's multiplied by all of this. Now, this dy by dx is equal to negative 2 third by 15. 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 15, 5, 5, 2 is 10, so it's negative 10, u to the negative 2, third, minus 3, now minus 1, that's negative 2, third, minus 1, let's see something here, negative 2, third, minus 1 over 1, is the same as negative 2, third, minus 3 over 3, Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So it's negative 5 over 3. So u to the negative 5 over 3 multiplied by 2x plus 8. Good. Now, what do we have next? 
what we can do is rewrite du in terms of x. So dy by dx is therefore equal to negative 10 here it is uh, let's not do, do that yet let's rewrite this as negative 10 divided by and it's going to be u to the 5 third because u to the negative power is equal to 1 over u to the positive power but 5 third is the same as the cube root of u raised to the power of 5 from your indices and your rules of indices which you have to remember right so in this case u to the power of 5 and then that is multiplied by 2x plus 8 good so what we have is negative 10 times 2x plus 8 when we multiply up top negative 10 by 2 that's negative 20 x plus negative 10 by 8 negative 80 so it's minus 80 up top over the cube root of u but u is x squared plus 8x plus not minus 1 and that is raised to the power of 5 all right so that's what we have all right so what we did here was to take the x squared plus 8x minus 1 as u as the inside function u then we say u is that y is 15 over 3 or over the q root of u squared and we fix it up to get 15 u to the negative 2 thirds so we can differentiate it so dy by dx is dy by du which is negative 2 turn by 15 u to the negative 2 turn minus 1 and then we work this out to get 10 u to the power of negative 5 third times 2x plus 8 and then this is negative 10 divided by by the q root of u to the fifth okay times 2x plus 8 up top and then multiply out up top and we get negative 20 x minus 80 divided by the cube root of x squared plus 8x minus 1 to the power of 5 okay good good all right so it was that for this example. I will see you later on in the next video.